Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Slave Spire. We are playing as Ironclad today on Ascension 11. And off we go. No tomfoolery before we get started here. Uh, transform a card. Gain 100 gold, those both seem reasonable. Can't dodge an elite. In fact, it's a bit of work to avoid fighting two elites. Um, this path over here looks good, though. Doesn't have any... No, there's a shop here. That's fine. Okay, well, the shop is pretty far away. Let's just transform a card and see if we get something interesting. Uh, see you later, strike. A body slam. Okay, not good yet, but there's a lot of things... A lot of decks it could be good in. <laughs> well, I guess it, like... A strike wouldn't have been any better here. I'm not playing either one of them. It's just, like, especially bad to have it when there's no defense, because you can't even, like, consider using it. Uh, you are dead. Mm. Thunderclap is fine. It's great for this fight. On the other hand, we don't have it right now and just need to block. Uh, we have what? 20 and 16. If I hit you for 6, I can kill you pretty easily next turn. Am I guaranteed to draw a strike? I am. And next turn we should be fine? Yes. These are all fine cards. Among them, I don't know. Like, the first battle trance you add to a deck is usually insane. You don't want a second one, but the first one's amazing. You don't usually want a second. There are some decks that could stand to have two. Um, I don't think... I, well, Whirlwind is good against this boss, so I don't know. I think I'll just take the battle trance, though. It's more flexible. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. <sighs> Another strike leaves me a little bit light on attacks. Let's get rid of a defend. Uh, I mean, this could be fine. There's a shop eventually, and my deck is kind of thin already, so it's not a big deal to spend my shop on removing this. I'll take it. This way we have a better shot at getting some, like, useful relic or something. I mean, I, I don't love the weak, and we'll be getting a lot of it for the, for, for the next several fights, but what can you do? Uh... I think it's worth like taking one damage to get a little more damage in there. Well, this turn plays itself. And this one also does. I mean, there's several I don't I don't need to calculate whether thunderclap would also be lethal because there was really easy math with the strikes. The headbutt Headbutt's fine. Right now I don't have any cards I want to top deck though. I guess Battle Trance is alright. Like, yes, many of my cards are better than Strike and Defend, but they're, none of them are things I'm like thrilled to top deck. So I think I might actually just go with the Pommel for some draw. And I'll fight the Elite before the campfire so I can rest afterwards, I think. I could upgrade something instead. Um, if I fought before, and like, I, I don't think that's such a great plan. Well, I mean, this is a pretty okay start, I think. Ooh. What if I bashed you, and then like, 
Oh, next turn is gonna suck. <laughs> Never mind. Um. I don't know. I think I need to just pommel to draw one of these awful cards out of my next hand. Yeah. So let's just thunderclap pommel strike. Oh, I didn't draw anything because of a battle trance. Right. Definitely worth a weak potion at this stage. Finally a little bit of value out of that body slam, although nothing amazing. Uh, I mean, I could just draw. But then, of course, the pommel strike is a bit worse. I guess that's fine. Defend, defend, body slam? Really stinks to be weak on the one turn where he's not attacking. But at least I drew a bunch of attacks. Pretty sure we bash and pommel. This hurts. Uh, defend, defend, strike. Oh no, I should have mm, thunderclapped. I was thinking the vulnerable doesn't matter because I wasn't playing any more attacks that turn, but it was extending his vulnerable to this turn, which actually would have made a substantial difference. Uh, this is five damage. If I block Body Slam, it's just four, so this is better. But boy, does this fight suck. Alright, so 20 doesn't kill me right now. Can I kill him? If I Thunderclap, strike... God, am I minus three? No, I'm minus two and weak. Oh, boy. What's in the next hand? Oh no! All I have is four damage next turn. If he, if he's vulnerable, like okay, so the extra using bash to make him vulnerable for next turn like really sucks. So I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I'm just like okay. A, I really should have blocked that turn. Oh, I forgot. I get this body slam. But yeah, I should have blocked that turn since I'm dead this turn if I don't. Mistake. Alright, well, let's just uh, get another run in there. Nice quick one. Uh, and we're uh, silent. And as I mentioned, I ascended silent uh, 10 off camera. So we are at 11 now. I did say at the beginning of this playthrough, no guarantees all the, all the runs are on camera. So you, know, you didn't miss much. Just another game of Slay the Spire. Uh... Can we get an elite? Like, probably? This one's looking pretty okay. We just need less than half of our question marks to be combats, which I think is pretty normal. Yeah, I'll take it. And as always, like, if you do get some combats, it's, like, still nice to have them have zero health there save you some health, especially as the side... Oh, really? Already? Well, I have Cloak and Dagger. That's the only direction my deck has so far. Um, I'm really liking the look of his footwork. You know, we don't get to remove a card, but footwork's really good, so that's fine. Yeah. Alright, I have some upgraded defense. Another shop! Well, I don't want any of this. Really wish I could be getting some better question marks, but at least they're not combats. This one is, but that's fine. We still get to the elite in time. Another cloak and dagger seems great. Uh, which way do you think? Let's go this way. I don't think it matters very much.
Omomori. Sure. Good way to get rid of curses. Uh, wow, another Cloak and Dagger is an option that we have. All three of these are great cards. Uh, I think that I will take the Adrenaline as like something that is never bad to have. Uh, Light Sweep is also like pretty great, but I want the Adrenaline, so I'll take it. Uh, I think this way is actually best. I could just, like, not get this curse. I don't really want to fight a bunch of mushrooms. Do you even get anything for fighting the mushrooms? Get out of here. And we'll smith up something. Probably the footwork. I don't have any weird... Yeah, that was last game. Okay. Happy flower, sure. And I have four energy and he's attacking for 12. So defend plus and cloak and dagger is a block and then I play my strikes. I wish I had more attacks this turn. But at least I got the footwork in. And easily blocking here. I was like, wait, why do I have 11 block? Even the defend plus is just 8. But yeah, I had footwork. Right. I might have missed lethal there. Not sure. Doesn't super matter. What is this? Who took all the attacks out of my deck? <laughs> Very rude. Uh, but we do have 39 block like halfway through the first floor. <laughs> so that's cool. I do eventually have to kill him. There we go. Noxious? Works well with like, so far all we've added is defend cards. This is a way to eventually kill them. Yeah, give me more gold. I don't even care about curses. I mean, obviously now, if I get curses in the future, like, I'm not negating them anymore, but this way I get the gold sooner, right? And I might never get any curses. You don't want to waste a chance to, to negate one. Uh, I also don't want this turn to happen at all. This is a lot of attack, um, isn't it? Maybe it's not that much. I can play, I can get 18 block out there if I don't play my Noxious Fumes. Um, which I think is probably a good idea. I, two of those were defend pluses. I could have, I didn't need to play one of these defense. Right? I have five more defense than I needed. I could have gotten a Noxious Fumes for free. I, I didn't see it. The, the green text is not that obvious to me, and I sometimes miss it. Um, that it's upgraded. I know it has a plus, but like it's written kind of small. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, what can we do here? I'm defended, so that's great. Uh, this guy has 18 health. I can do 16. But I think I would do better to just not waste any more attacks on him and kill off his buddy first. So I should do f look, three and six, I guess. And then just waste the shiv. Really wish I had a noxious fumes, but at least I have the decks down. I think ought to be enough to take care of this guy in relative comfort. Alright. Oh no, I'm taking some damage. I didn't miss lethal. Good. Good to know. 
The best time to check whether you miss lethal is after you miss it, obviously. Why would you ever check before? Alright, this turn I might have missed it. <laughs> but uh, blocking is so fun! Like, they want to hit you and they don't get to hit you. Like, how could you say no? Okay. Well, we got out of there with a little damage, and I think we would have prevented that with a Noxious, maybe. Uh, these are all not good. Yeah. I don't want any of this. Um... We could fight another elite. Who did we fight already? It was, um... Lagavulin, right? I guess... I might have a tough time against the Goblin Knob, wouldn't I? Yeah, let's let's pass on that. And we're also passing on this, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, no elite. Okay, I guess we're just gonna try and kill him with Noxious and block a bunch. Hang on, let's play the defend plus. Taking some damage for sure. Uh we can you? Eleven is enough, so I can afford a strike. And I strike you? Uh, okay, so you need three damage to die. I can arrange that with a shiv. And then, like, just play all my other attacks, I guess? And this guy's going down. Okay. I should have tried to drink my regen potion, actually, at some point. Uh... Okay, Piercing Whale's pretty good. Upgrade a card. Sure. I choose Noxious. Upgrade another card. I choose Neutralize, right? Sure. Should I take a regen potion here? The fight will go long enough that it gets value, but it gets... It gets very little value unless it actually stops me from dying, right? because I get mostly healed at the end of this combat. So I should evaluate like whether I need it to survive this fight. And I'm not sure. Sometimes I actually do. I think it's going to be a tough enough fight that I should play safe and just take this. But on the other hand, if the fight gets that tough, like I can take it later, I think. So I'll try and play uh, a little bit more aggressively, try to save this. Good hand to get on this turn. Why did I... Did I get to play four things? I shouldn't have. I must have miscounted. Oh, happy flower. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I mean, this is a lot of damage, but I blocked most of it. We don't have a lot of damage in the deck, but that's what Noxious is for. Oh, perfect. We got him at like 77, so all this damage is... Any damage we get this turn is great. We didn't get that much, but we got some. We split him at like 58. That's fine. Uh, I'm 
doesn't defend it already, so let's play a strike. I don't really have strong opinions about which one of them to hit. This one frails me sometimes, this one weaks me sometimes. I guess frail's a bigger problem, isn't it? So let's let's work on this guy. Because I have like dexterity and I also have noxious. So the effect of frail is multiplied and the effect of weak is like lessened because I don't really do damage with attacks. This guy would split at 29, so we're not getting him. Oh, hang on. He's currently at 34, so this actually splits him, like, exactly, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna wait till next turn when I can split him for more. All right, and he's automatically splitting himself. If I'm having any trouble, I can just leave him alone. Ugh! Really would have liked some more attacks. Um, the obvious thing is to neutralize the guy in front, but there is something to be said for neutralizing the guy in back, I think, because he'll stay weak next turn. Right now we do double damage to this guy, but we actually weaken this guy, so it's sort of a toss-up, I think. Well, hang on. The, 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 the extra neutralize on this guy doesn't matter. Because he's not attacking this turn, and next turn he'll be splitting, so he won't attack then either. So I should do it this way. Yeah, like, no matter what I do, he splits here. I have 28. I'd like to do a lot of damage to him, but even if I don't... There we go. Got him relatively low. Quite low, in fact, I think I would say. Alright, finally the turn for Piercing Whale has arrived. And I think I can get this guy to die pretty soon. I'm going to be frail for a long time, though. Alright, you need two damage to be split. But I don't actually have to split you, like... Well, I guess you will be keeping me weak for next turn. So... Killing you might be worthwhile. But if I can find something else better to do with the shiv, I should. Uh, and I think we clearly, like, just block, block here. And I think just shiving this guy to not be weak next turn is the best I'm going to come up with. And they're all dead. Alright, pretty good fight. Let's just play everything in case I'm wrong. There we go. Now they're all definitely dead. Oh yeah, right. And potion slots, huh? Burst? I like burst. I don't yet have a skill that I'm excited to play. Well, okay, cloak and dagger's fine. Sure. And I like these more than a fire potion. Coffee? Kind of scary not to be able to rest. But, like, energy's pretty great. Also, like, drawing more cards is great, too. Yeah, I think that I should go with the Ring of the Serpent. I'm just too scared of not being able to rest. Maybe... Maybe that's foolish. 
the extra like value you get out of one extra energy per turn, you like far outweighs the the health you get from resting. Um, but like the question is, does it outweigh it by m enough by more than getting Ring of the Serpent helps? And I don't know the answer to that. How much do I need more energy? I mean, like I'm. Pretty much every turn, I'm capped by energy, right? So this is like play one more card per turn. This is like have better choices about which cards to play. I think I'll take playing one more card. I'm scared of not resting, but oh well. Act two. I see two fires in a row here. That's nice. Dodge an elite and pick up another fire. Sounds good. How about shops? We're hitting one. Okay. Would like to hit more since I have a gigantic pile of gold, but it doesn't seem to be in the picture. I didn't need to play that. I forgot how much energy I have, and I was like, oh, you know, I'll just cloak a dagger and then strike and like this old, but I could have just like played the two Cloak of Daggers and I'm defended already against the attack he had. And if I'd gotten one more strike in, like, I could have taken down some plated armor, it would have been great. Alright, not making a lot of progress against this guy. Uh, pretty sure we... Burst Adrenaline? Oh my god, I drew the burst again. What a genius. Um, I don't really need it. I mean, I guess I'll play it. Why not? Eight damage. Oh, I can play everything. Thanks, Happy Flower. All right, we got in there. We did a little chip damage. I don't know. Noxious is probably what's going to have to kill him because I can't do it otherwise. What am I doing? Don't be... Oh, well, I guess it's fine. I... I didn't really need to play the defend, but I was playing one of them anyway, so I just have the energy that it was sort of free. Uh, again, I'll play everything. Uh, burst the defend plus. Like we we have a lot of defense, right? And then noxious fumes just gradually tires them out. Hopefully, that's the plan. Wait. Alright. Playing one of those was fine. It, it didn't reduce my, my options at all. But actually, I should just kill him instead of playing another defend. Sucker Punch is good. Weakening enemies. Fits with the goal of not taking damage and making them eventually die. not using my gold. So giving it to him is kind of cool. But eventually I'll be able to use it. Um, I am... I'm having a shop not too long from now. The other, like, I, I could get rid of the regen potion, which is 15 health. That's a pretty big deal. Um... Especially since I can't rest at rest sites. The more I talk about it, the more that seems like a bad plan. Yeah, I'll just... I don't know. I mean, it, it opens up a potion slot. I can stop wasting potions. I don't know. Here you go. Have a regen potion. What do I know? Pen nib. 
None of my attacks are any good, but okay. Click! I click on you. There we go. Alright. That turn, you know, kind of uninteresting, but... I, yeah, we burst the cloak and dagger, right? All right, the footwork is coming in now. I mean, even frail, it's not as good as it could have been since I was frail, but what can you do? Uh, Noxious, I guess, is like fine, even against this guy with artifact. Uh, he has one artifact, so I get to choose which of these two effects I apply to him. I guess... I'll make him lose some strength, because that's enough. Pen nib goes off, how exciting. Uh, this is 15 block, I want more than that. attack here. Oh, I can play everything. Alright, so we're just sort of grinding them down. This is actually a lot like the run that I won with the Silent Off Camera. Um, except it was better at it. <laughs> uh, just grinding them down with a ton of blocks. I actually, eventually, by the end of that game, I had three after-image pluses. I got, like, one in every act, and so I just... And I kept them weak forever with, like, a bunch of weakness-giving cards. The thing that made weak enemies even weaker. The Relic uh, Paper Crane, I think. Anyway, uh, what are we up to here? Don't really want the energy. I can't draw enough anyway. Um, skewer is kind of a thing. I don't usually have that much energy left over, though. I think I'll just pass. None of these advance my game plan. It works a good start. Cloak and Dagger, clearly great. Uh, now... I think if I Piercing Whale, this guy is down to what? 8 and 3 is 11. And then I weaken him and he attacks for just 6, which is 9, so I don't need any more block. I forgot I had pen him, but I picked the right order, so. Uh, I guess I should play all of the cards. And the order really doesn't matter. Okay. A little bit of overkill this turn, in terms of amount of blocking I did. Burst... Just the defend plus, right? That's still enough. I don't need to do any weirdness with uh, Survivor. Still frail. Six, six, and I. No, oh, wait. Six and eight. Yes, that's enough. So I can play all my attacks as well. Uh, pen nib, so I should arrange for that to be a strike. Can you guys believe I noticed pen nib? What a time to be alive. Play all the attacks. This guy is dead now, so that's nice. She didn't even heal him, what a dummy. Yep, 
Yeah, I don't think we took any damage this fight, right? I mean, it's not over yet, but... Uh, this is enough. Oh, also I can just play everything. That seems fun. Pen nib is active. Let's strike. Not that it matters, but build good habits. Pass. I mean, seven poison is seven poison, though, right? It's better than most of the attacks that I'm playing, and you can burst it if you want. Okay, fine. Uh-oh. Wow. This is a good starting hand, though. I get the Dex and the Noxious. And I get to weaken somebody. Let's say... You? Weaken you a lot. Uh-huh. Um... Well, Cloak and Dagger is a good one. And they're attacking for 16, so I would like some more block. After that, uh, what? Probably Deadly Poison someone who isn't the one who I'm, like, in the middle of killing. I keep focusing my attacks on this guy, but in the meantime drag someone else down. My next victim. Okay, good adrenaline, good piercing whale probably. I could burst it. Better than anything else I could do with the burst, I guess. I mean, I don't actually need to play this, right? I could just gain 24 block. No, that's actually not enough. Pen nib. I still can't kill him, though. Uh, so, let's see. You can be at 13, and then next turn you'll have 7. So, okay, I still want to strike you, I think. Although, actually, no. I want to strike someone else, and then next... Because it's a pen nib strike. Next turn I'll use a weaker attack to finish you off. Because you're at... 5 right now? Yeah. Wow, this is a lot of damage. This deck's a little bit slow. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have struck you? I didn't really do the math. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but clearly not. Okay, the poison is doing its work. I think we got there. Yes. All right, took a little damage, but not too bad. Considering how long these guys were alive. Uh, I don't really want expertise plus. Could take another sucker punch. But I don't know. Who's my boss, by the way? Automaton. I'm just not that excited about a Sucker Punch, you know? And it makes it harder to get to my good stuff. You know, in particular, like, I want to get to Noxious and Footwork as soon as I can, and, like, burst my skills and stuff like that. <sighs> it's still, like, a lot better than Strikes, and I play Strikes pretty often, though. I'm not going to mess with any elites when I'm not allowed. You almost tricked me! I almost clicked on this, because that's where Smith goes. Uh, we take the burst. That's sort of easy choice. Did I know this was going to be a shop? I did. All right. Uh... So, like... Another footwork, dash, remove something, buy a relic. 
Seems good. Remove a strike. They're all just abysmally awful. And, like, do I... I, I think I want the pair more than the Vajra, right? And just gaining 10 max HP is pretty cool. Cool. If you have no attacks in hand, draw two cards. I guess I could have thought about whether that's a good idea, but I don't think it is. Yep, I guess that'll do. See ya. Upgrade the other footwork. And we're going this way to keep dodging elites. Did I have some relic that does something bad to chests? I think I asked this last time I saw a chest. The answer was no. Runic dodecahedron. That's gonna be a tough one. I could take the sapphire key, guys. Because <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna have full HP again, right? I mean, what's the point? How could I possibly get full HP? Some event might do it. All right, we're gonna take the Sapphire Key. Maybe I'll somehow end up getting the other two and, and we'll do act four. Unlikely, but honestly, that relic was just so bad that I appreciate being given the option to leave it. <laughs> uh, obtain a special relic. That relic is three extra strength on the first turn of each combat. So instead I will just transform my two strikes, two of my strikes. I'm not convinced that this was better. Flying Knee, great upgrade. Phantasmal Killer, abysmal. Awful. Two energy, do nothing. <laughs> More or less. If you upgrade, it's like triple damage. No, it costs one. All right, if it costs one, it's like actually not that bad, but it's still not really a card I wanna play most of the time. There you go, we could fight, uh, fight this elite and have two keys, what do you think? It's not the worst idea in the world, but I really am not excited about getting to Act 4, as I have previously discussed, so I will not do it. Uh, we can down this guy, and a burst cloak and dagger is enough to block everything that his friend is doing. So. Pen nib. I should have maybe used the pen nib on this guy? since it, the damage is halved against the flying bird. Uh, how much damage do I have here? 8, 12, 16. There's no way to kill this guy without using all my attacks. But I think I'm sort of okay with letting him live. If I can get a little extra weak on his friend. Let's just get this out of my deck. A non-attack card, right? Yeah. All right, well, I'm floating a bunch of energy. But I only have one... No, I have two attacks, possibly, next turn. Possibly zero. It's, uh, is this worth shuffling a Dazed into my deck? Maybe. Like, absolutely best case, it does 16 damage, right? Next turn. Which is cool. I don't know, I guess I'll take it. Whatever. I don't get a lot of chances to play Phantasmal Killer. <laughs> okay, at least we have this, right? Yeah, very funny. Dude, this is terrible. I need a smoke bomb. I need out of this combat. Oh, boy. Get out of here, you, you creepy dazes. 
I don't know. Maybe I should have taken the Essence of Steel already. Since when is this guy allowed to attack for 31, by the way? That's way higher than I thought. I'm not allowed to rest at rest sites. This is extremely sad news for me. I think I should have not struck. I think he was dead anyway, and then I'd have Pendiv next combat. Catalyst? Bane? I think my Noxious Fumes applies poison too slowly for Catalyst to be all that great. I'll just take the Bane. I think we're dead against the boss, though. I don't know. I mean, I guess we're good, we're good at blocking, so Let's see how that goes, I guess. But it's it's tough to completely block a, a hyper beam. Uh, yeah, definitely want this. Burst the deadly poison and play dash? I guess. Dash, I think, is better than the Sucker Punch almost all the time. I don't know, maybe the Sucker Punch was better. Given that I didn't need the block at all. Uh oh. Um, this is some damage. Yep. I'm really, like, hoarding this Essence of Steel for no reason at all. I'm gonna die with it on me and look like an idiot. Not this combat, though. Pretty sure. I guess just this is enough. And then I have a Phantasmal Killer. And several attacks, that's not bad. Uh, no pen nib concerns. Okay. I could really use a shop where I buy Lee's Waffle. That's what I want. Just, just a little waffle. I'm not asking for much. Uh, prepared plus? Sure. Good filtering. No! They finally got me! They tricked me! I wish that went somewhere else. I, like, I wish it stayed where it was, even though it will look asymmetrical. I need a relic. It could be Lee's Waffle. Actually, I don't think that's possible. I think you can only get it from a shop. Frozen egg, when you add a power, upgrade it. Okay, well, gonna have a tough time against this boss. Let's smith up my... Sucker Punch, let's keep him weak. It works a good start. Um, I guess it's better to play Phantasmal Killer than it is to get a shiv, right? So, might as well. Uh, okay, this looks like the end. I, I mean, again, I, I haven't done the math, but... I don't like how things are looking here. Yep, super dead. Actually, only barely dead. Okay, well... Maybe...
maybe, just maybe, the coffee dripper was not the right idea. And then that fight against the the bird and the the he's not a cultist. I don't remember what the the guy is who hexes you. What his, what his name is? But it was just awful. I I lost a ton of health, and, and that was actually like what killed me. I had too many skills. Okay, well, you guys got a double header today. Two entire runs in one episode. Amazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.